The debut of the highly anticipated Wonder Woman film is fast approaching, and if you're feeling a bit behind in lore, join me as we take a tour through Wonder Woman's origin, history, and greatest stories. Wonder Woman is a fictional superheroine, appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character is a founding member of the Justice League, a demigoddess, and warrior princess of the Amazonian people. In her homeland, she is Princess Diana of Themyscira, and outside of her homeland, she is known by her civilian identity of Diana Prince. Wonder Woman was created by the American psychologist and writer William Moulton Marston, with his wife and co-creator Elizabeth Holloway Marston, and artist H.G. Peter. Their cohabitant, Olive Byrne, is accredited as being Marston's muse for the iconic character's physical appearance. Marston drew a great deal of inspiration from early feminists, and especially from birth control pioneer Margaret Sanger. The character first appeared in All-Star Comics No. 8 in December 1941, and first cover dated on Sensation Comics No. 1, January 1942. The Wonder Woman title has been published by DC Comics almost continuously, except for a brief hiatus in 1986. Wonder Woman's origin story relates that she was sculpted from clay by her mother, Queen Hippolyta, and given life by Athena, along with superhuman powers as gifts by the Greek gods. However, in recent years, Aris updated her profile. She's been depicted as the daughter of Zeus, and jointly raised by her mother Hippolyta and her aunts Anatope and Menelope. Artist George Perez gave her a muscular look and emphasized her Amazonian heritage. Artist Jim Lee redesigned Diana's costume to include pants, she inherits Ares' divine abilities, becoming the personified god of war. And most recently, writer Greg Rucka clarified her sexuality, giving her a backstory that includes positive relationships with women. In her debut in All-Star Comics number 8, Diana was a member of a tribe called the Amazons, native to Paradise Island, a secluded island set in the middle of a vast ocean. Captain Trevor's plane crashes on the island, and he is found alive but unconscious by Diana and a fellow Amazon and friend, Mala. Diana has him nursed back to health and falls in love with him. A competition is held amongst all the Amazons by Diana's mother, the queen of the Amazons, Hippolyta, in order to determine who is the most worthy of all the women. Hippolyta charges the winner with the responsibility of delivering Captain Steve Trevor back to man's world and to fight for justice. Hippolyta forbids Diana from entering the competition, but she takes part nonetheless, wearing a mask to conceal her identity. She wins the competition and reveals herself surprising Hippolyta, who ultimately accepts and must give in to Diana's wish to go to man's world. She then is awarded a special uniform made by her mother for her new role as Wonder Woman and safely returns Steve Trevor back to his home country. Wonder Woman has used the alias Diana Prince, created by William Moulton Marston as her secret identity. During Marston's run, Diana Prince was the name of an army nurse whom Wonder Woman met. The nurse wanted to meet her fiancé, who was transferred to South America, but was unable to arrange for the money to do so. As Wonder Woman needed a secret identity to monitor and look after Steve, who was admitted in the same hospital as Diana Prince worked at, and because both of them looked a lot like each other, Wonder Woman gave the nurse money to go to her fiancé in exchange for the nurse's credentials and took Diana Prince as her alias. She started to work as an army nurse, and later as an Air Force secretary. The identity of Diana Prince was especially prominent in the series published in the early 1970s, in which she fought crime only under the Prince alias and without her mystic powers. To support herself, she ran a mod clothing boutique. The Diana Prince alias also played an important role after the events of Infinite Crisis. Wonder Woman was broadcast worldwide killing a villain named Maxwell Lord as he was mind-controlling Superman into killing Batman. When Wonder Woman caught him in her lasso, demanding to know how to stop Superman, Maxwell revealed that the only way to stop him was to kill him, so as a last resort, Diana snapped his neck. To recover from the trauma of killing another person, the Amazon went into a self-imposed exile for one year. On her return to public life, Diana realized that her life as a full-time celebrity superhero and an ambassador had kept her removed from humanity. Because of this, she assumed the persona of Diana Prince and became an agent at the Department of Metahuman Affairs. During a later battle with the witch Cersei, a spell was placed on Diana leaving her powerless when not in the guise of Wonder Woman. 
In the New 52 universe, Diana does not have a secret identity, as stated in an interview by series writer Brian Azzarello. However, when she and Superman began dating, for her civilian identity, she uses the Diana Prince alias whenever she is around Clark Kent, such as when she introduced herself to Lois Lane at Lois's housewarming party under that name. Princess Diana commands respect both as Wonder Woman and Diana Prince. Her epithetical title, the Amazon Princess, illustrates the dichotomy of her character. She is a powerful, strong-willed character who would never back down from a fight or a challenge. Yet she is a diplomat who strongly favors the pen and a lover of peace who would never seek to fight or escalate a conflict. She is simultaneously both the most fierce and most nurturing member of the Justice League and her political connections as a United Nations Honorary Ambassador and the Ambassador of a Warrior Nation makes her an invaluable addition to the team. With her powerful abilities, centuries of training, and experience at handling threats that range from petty crime to threats that are of a magical or supernatural nature, Diana is capable of competing with nearly any hero or villain. Many writers have depicted Diana in different personalities and tone between both of her diametric extremes, that of a warrior, a highly compassionate and calm ambassador, and sometimes also as a naive and innocent person, depending on the writer. What has remained a constant and is a mainstay of her character is the nurturing of humanity, feeling compassion, and having a strong conscience. This trait has been the reason she was inducted into the Star Sapphires, the Lantern Corps, which powers their rings on love and compassion. Diana is depicted as a masterful athlete, acrobat, fighter, and strategist, trained and experienced in many ancient and modern forms of armed and unarmed combat. From the beginning, she is portrayed as highly skilled in using her Amazonian bracelets to stop bullets and in wielding her golden lasso. Batman once called her the best melee fighter in the world. The modern version of the character is known to use lethal force when she deems it necessary. The Golden Age Wonder Woman had strength that was comparable to the Golden Age Superman. Wonder Woman was capable of bench pressing 15,000 pounds even before she had earned her bracelets, and later hoisted a 50,000 pound boulder over her head to inspire Amazons facing the test. Even when her super strength was temporarily nullified, she still had enough mortal strength of an Amazon to break down a prison door to save Steve Trevor. In one of her earliest appearances, she is shown running easily at 60 miles per hour and later jumps from a building and lands on the balls of her feet. Her strength would be removed in accordance with Aphrodite's law if she allowed her bracelets to be bound or chained by a male. She also had an array of mental and physical abilities, as corresponding to Dr. Marston's interests in parapsychology and metaphysics. Such an array included ESP, astral projection, telepathy, mental control over the electricity in her body, and the Amazonian ability to turn brain energy into muscle power. In the post-crisis universe, Wonder Woman receives her superpowers as a blessing from Olympian deities, just like the Silver Age version before, but with changes to some powers. Demeter, the goddess of agriculture and fertility, blessed Diana with a strength drawn from the Earth spirit Gaia, making her one of the physically strongest heroes in the DC Universe and the strongest female heroine in the DC Universe. Her connection to the Earth allows her to heal at an accelerated rate so long as she is in contact with the planet. However, as mentioned earlier, now that she is a demigoddess, it has been suggested that she heals extremely quickly also due to her divine heritage. In rare cases where she has been gravely injured, Diana showed the ability to physically merge with the Earth, causing whatever injuries or poisons to be expelled from her body. Such an act is considered sacred and can only be used in extreme cases. Pallas Athena the goddess of wisdom and war, granted Diana great wisdom, intelligence, and military prowess. Athena's gift enabled Diana to master over a dozen languages, including those of alien origin, multiple complex crafts, sciences, and philosophies, as well as leadership, military strategy, and armed and unarmed combat. More recently, Athena bound her own eyesight to Diana's, granted her increased empathy. Artemis, goddess of the hunt, animals, and the moon, grace Diana with the eyes of the hunter and unity with beasts, meaning Diana can communicate with all animals, including dinosaurs. The eyes of the hunter ability gives Diana a full range of enhanced senses, including telescopic vision and super hearing. Hestia, goddess of hearth and home, granted Diana sisterhood with fire. 
This power has been shown to control the fires of truth, which Diana wields through her lasso, making anyone bound by it unable to lie. This ability also grants her resistance to both normal and supernatural fire. Hermes, the messenger god of speed, granted Diana superhuman speed and the ability to fly. She is capable of flying speeds approaching at half the speed of light. She can react quickly enough to deflect bullets, lasers, and other projectiles with her virtually impenetrable bracelets. Aphrodite, goddess of love, bestowed Diana with stunning beauty as well as a kind heart. While not completely invulnerable, she is highly resistant to great amounts of concussive force at extreme temperatures and surpasses Superman in that area. Although, edge weapons or projectiles applied with sufficient force are able to pierce her skin. Due to her divine origins, Diana can resist many forms of magical manipulation. She is able to astrally project herself into various lands of myth. Her physical body reacts to whatever happens to her on a mystical astral plane, leaving her body cut, bruised, or sometimes strengthened once her mind and body are, re are reunited. She can apparently leave the planet through meditation, and did this once to rescue Artemis while she was in hell. During the rebirth of Rakan, the Year One storyline explains that while put in a cell after coming to man's world, Diana was visited by the great gods in animal form, and each gave her powers that would reveal themselves when she needed them to. She first applies strength when she accidentally rips the bars off her cell door when visited by Steve Trevor, Etta Candy, and Barbara Ann Minerva. Later on a trip to the mall, she discovers super speed, slight durability, and flight while fighting off terrorists who attack. The Invisible Plane was a creation of Diana's during her younger years on Paradise Island. She created it to be an improvement on her mother's planes, which would be shot down in Man's World. The result of her innovation was an invisible plane that could fly at terrific speeds silently and not be detected by hostile forces, thus avoiding any unpleasant conflict. Initially, it was portrayed as being transparent. The invisible plane appeared in the very first comic stories, including All-Star Comics number 8, where it is shown as being able to fly at over 2,000 miles per hour and to send out rainbow rays that penetrate the mist around Paradise Island, as well as landing stealthily and having a built-in radio. Wonder Woman is seen storing the plane in an abandoned farm near Washington, D.C. in the barn. She goes there as Lieutenant Prince and changes clothes in some of the earliest tales. Though never explicitly stated, the plane is presumably stored there when not in use for the rest of the Pre-Crisis era. Diana's bulletproof bracelets were formed from the remnants of Athena's legendary shield, the Aegis. The shield was made from an indestructible hide of the great she-goat Amalthea, who suckled Zeus as an infant. These forearm guards have thus far proven indestructible and able to absorb the impact of incoming attacks, allowing Wonder Woman to deflect automatic weapon fire and energy blasts. Diana can slam the bracelets together to create a wave of concussive force capable of making strong beings like Superman's ears bleed. The Lasso of Truth, or Lariat of Hestia, was forged by Hephaestus from the Golden Girdle of Gaia, and the original form of the lasso in the Golden Age was called the Magic Lasso of Aphrodite. It compels all beings who come into contact with it to tell the absolute truth and is virtually indestructible. The only time it has been broken is when Wonder Woman herself refused to accept the truth revealed by the lasso, such as when she confronted Bizarro in Matt Wagner's non-canonical Trinity. Diana wields the lasso with great precision and accuracy and can use it as a whip or noose. The truth-compelling power of the lasso also reflects the fact that Wonder Woman's creator, Marston, was a psychologist credited with inventing the polygraph. Diana occasionally uses additional weaponry in formal battle, such as ceremonial golden armor with golden wings, protrusions, chest plate, and golden helmet in the shape of an eagle's head. She possesses a magical sword forged by Hephaestus that is sharp enough to cut the electrons off an atom. As early as the 1950s, Wonder Woman's tiara has also been used as a razor edge throwing weapon, returning to her like a boomerang. The tiara allows Wonder Woman to be invulnerable from telepathic attacks. It also allows for Diana to telepathically contact people, such as the Amazons back on Themyscira, using the telepathic power of the Red Ruby Star in the center of the tiara. As a recent temporary inductee into the Star Sapphires, Wonder Woman gained access to the Violet Power Ring of Love. This ring allowed her to alter her costume at will, create solid light energy constructs, and reveal the person's true love to them. She was able to combine the energy with her lasso to enhance its ability. 
We hope you enjoyed this look at Wonder Woman's origin and history. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit that subscribe as we'll have a lot more videos coming up.